Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 back in my hands, this metal-clad phone that has, well, made a bit of a splash, not just because of the fact that it has a different design that allows you no longer to get into the battery and the micro SD card slot because they don't exist at this point. It is unibody design that has a, has a dual glass panel construction, but also because of the software underneath. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking at right now. I just wanted to go through some of the elements here and sort of showcase case once again just how fluid this version of TouchWiz is and actually we have been told that TouchWiz isn't necessarily going to be what they're going to be calling this software uh, all over the place anymore there's kind of rebranding themselves if you haven't noticed already there is a different font to the logo itself for Galaxy and whatnot and you know so there's some changes going on very subtle ones and that is really the best way to describe how the software experience has kind of gotten better on the S6 you'll see these transitions all going quite nicely in and out of everything these lollipop additions uh, like the card view inside of the recent app screen you have the notification drop down that very light nicely comes down from there if you hit an application it'll come up from the bottom and then if you go away it'll come back down that way now these animations are very slightly different than the ones that were in the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, for example, which I just did a versus on, and you should be able to see it here on the channel. But really, just all of these little animations just all look quite nice. And really, it they all kind of go through very easily. I, I have had no problems with performance thus far in the few times that I have used this particular device. And, and Honestly, when I first when I get my hands on a review unit, I'm really looking forward to putting its performance through its paces because it has an Exynos underneath. But I'm just kind of going through the elements here. I did want to show you one particular edition that is here called the Theme Store. Now, the Theme Store is a little bit different, uh, added into TouchWiz this time around, and you are able to finally change the look and feel of your uh, Android OS using all of the app, uh, all of the themes that are inside of their Theme Store. Now, you can also go through a menu area here and look at the purchase ones that you have and also see some of the settings here. But really, it's just a matter of changing the look all around. I'll go to the My Themes area, and here we are with a few that are already pre-installed, including an Avengers one, and I'll show you that one right now. Applying the theme quite nicely. And there it is. Like, all of the different elements are now changed in terms of their color. The icons are also different as well, as you can see down here. Going through the elements on the side, you can already see that a lot of the elements are definitely the same. But the look, the wallpaper in the background, the icons, the colors all over the place are all different now, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, theming, not necessarily a uh, very big uh, aspect to previous versions of this operating system, but now it looks like it's going to be a very big feature going forward for a lot of these OEMs. Let's go back to the default one. This is just the regular touchways that everyone is very familiar with. But I also wanted to show you another feature that is in here as well. Now, it's not necessarily new, but they did change it around this time, and it is the fingerprint scanning. We'll head down here to the lock screen and security, and then to the fingerprint. Now this is a touch version, you can see the tactile home button is down here on the bottom and we will be able to use it just by pressing our finger down there. You can verify a Samsung account, do some web sign-ins here. You could uh, enter in the username and password in order to make your fingerprint your web sign-in for places, which is quite nice. And then paying with PayPal. Samsung Pay will also be a thing, but that is something we're going to figure, um, we'll figure out later on when we get our review unit. So let's add a fingerprint. Place finger on the home key, lift it off and repeat. We're gonna keep changing it over and over again. I'm gonna go ahead and do it in this angle. A little bit more practical. And there you go, we have the fingerprint lock set up right here. So we also put in a password uh, in, you know, as a backup. But if we go over here, one of the great parts about this particular form of locking the phone is that if you were to press your, your, but, your button right here, just using your thumb that is already uh, put in there as a fingerprint, you'll easily unlock the phone. Just leave your finger on there and it unlocks quite easily. We've seen this kind of iteration on uh, particular phones already, like the Oppo N3 with its rear facing uh, fingerprint scanner. And now we have one on the front right here. And it's a really great implementation. Makes it really easy to just unlock a, uh, unlock a device and get in there quite quickly. Now, obviously you're going to be putting multiple fingerprints on here from time to time, and yes, you have to have it on there just right in order for it to work, but nonetheless, once you do, it's really not that difficult at all. So that was just a look at the software on here. I just wanted to give you a quick look in this one angled uh, shot in order to show you the different features that are inside of here that might be a little bit different from previous versions of TouchWiz. Like I said already, there's already a nice fluidity to it, and it's really just, 
it feels like it's really fast. I don't have any problems with stutter or anything like that. Very few, if any, but definitely a lot less than I have ever experienced before in a version from Samsung's operating system. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage. And don't forget to keep it tuned here for a future review of the Samsung Galaxy S6. And keep it tuned here because we are your source for all things MWC 2015.